Hi, my name is Lena Erdio. I'm a professional windsurfer from Turkey. I'm a 2016 Vice World Champion in the slalom windsurfing discipline. This is more like racing on flat water. But I also really love wave sailing and I always try to improve my skills on this side as well. This is my 3-3 storm sail. Uh, I doubt I'll be needing that today, but just in case. I always take everything. I'm lucky. For uh, six years now I've been a professional windsurfer, so that's my job, windsurfing all year round. Uh, I love it and uh, I hope I can keep doing it for a lot more years. Let's go! Now all we need is wind! The first time I came to Cape Town was actually nine years ago and it was the first time I saw wind and waves like that and I really fell in love with the conditions and since then I've been coming back almost every winter and I'm always trying to improve my wave riding skills. I just spoke to my friend Katarina and she says she's in Milneton and that some people are sailing. We're driving there and like we still have maybe uh, one and a half hours of sunlight so let's hope we get some some nice magic sunset session and we're almost there, fingers crossed. It doesn't look windy. Windsurfing is super fun, for me it's the greatest sport in the world, but uh, at times it can also be really frustrating. How about you? How about you? <laughs> Some people getting out of their wetsuits. Having the two factors, wind and waves, that need to be special in a certain way, uh, can sometimes make it more difficult to get the right, uh, right conditions. I'm not gonna go in, it's not looking good at all. I'm gonna save all my energy for tomorrow and uh, yeah, let's hope we get some good conditions. It can be frustrating sometimes but it's all part of the game and when you get that really good session then it makes it all worth it. So yeah, windsurfing. <laughs> Looking for wind and waves, for me it's like a daily morning routine I think, like looking what the wind is going to do and trying to decide where I'm going to sail that day. Today looks really good. <laughs> I really admire the people that don't look at wind guru and just say well I just deal with whatever is going to happen which is probably the best way to deal with it. But uh, I think for most windsurfers that's not how it works. Let's hope it's actually going to happen. Windsurfing goal setting is really important while training. It's always good to have a goal in mind for the session. So, for example, today I'm going to improve my bottom turn, or today I'm going to try my forward loops and uh, make them higher, or something like that. Because uh, that helps you focus more and uh, instead of just spending an hour free sailing. Especially in Cape Town we always have a nice group of girls that come here for their winter training. Some of them are like me, professional slalom trainers, some of them are professional wave sailors, some of the other girls are freestylers, but sailing together with other girls really helps me push myself more. And this year my goal of this trip was to land a push loop. The push loop is a really scary move. You have to go uh, quite high and really fast and like throw your head back and uh, really finish the loop in the air and then land back. So uh, it's definitely had a fear factor involved. You got it basically. 
and take a big round maybe not then you go around okay easy <laughs> so uh, she basically said go big or go home no no <laughs> you cannot go home you can't go home no option of going home today I haven't managed to land the push loop at the moment, uh, but I'm actually not that upset about it because the most important part was uh, starting to try and getting over the fear and I will continue trying.